Hey guys, welcome back to Jarvis and Audio Solutions. So today we're going to do a video on another component of OpenSense. It's actually been a minute since I've done any video with OpenSense. Uh, they essentially keep updating it and patching uh, security issues or feature issues. And so far it's worked out pretty good so far. So I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, but anywho, so today we're going to go over the Monit service. And what the Monit service is, is basically an email service so you can get email notifications. Um, one thing I've noticed is that if uh, if my uh, internet here at the office goes down or if we have something go down at an, a remote site uh, and my, my uh, monitoring system is not able to pick it up, then the email is a great backup notification. So anytime something happens to that firewall, it will send me a notification, anything detrimental anyway. So we're just going to go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, so you guys should be familiar with the dashboard, hopefully, but if you're not, here it is. This is what it looks like. And so I'm just going to go straight down to Services and go down to Monit, and then hit Settings. And it's actually a super simple setup. So you're going to go Enable Monit, and then I leave the polling and start really the same. You're going to change your mail server to, in my case, it's going to be Gmail. Uh, you might have um, Office, Office 365 or whichever other email servers out there you might use. Just an option, and I happen to have that one. All right, and then we're going to use port 587. And then we're going to give it the mail server username. And so in this case, mine's going to be test at jowerstechsolutions.com. And then we have the password. And we'll hide my password from everybody because you can't see it. All right, so we'll do that. All right, and then we're going to hit mail server uh, SSL connection. Yep. And right here, all we're going to do is hit save. And then hit apply. And then, well, the other thing you need to do in here is go to the, um, the alert settings, I believe it is. Yep, the alert settings. And then here you need to add your other your other email that you want to get notifications. So one, one email is to be able to send notifications. The other one is where you want it to go to. In this case, I'm just going to send it straight to the one I just configured. And then I will show you that on the uh, web portal here in just a minute. And then I'll, so one thing you need to be careful, make sure you hit full help because you need to e uh, format the email correctly. So I just basically copy this, copy this guy into, uh, sorry, I'm going through a VM so it's hard to do this. Copy, there we go. And then paste it in there. And then so you have tested JR6 solutions, uh, not on, we want it to be on, so we're not going to select that. We're going, we want it to send all events. So we're going to leave that empty, and then we're just going to hit save. All right, and now we're going to hit apply, and then now the service started. So you need to configure the main, the general settings and then the alert settings. All right, so one thing we're going to do here is I'm going to go, it's going to kick me off, but just bear with me. Um, I'm going to log in to my Gmail. It might take a second, it's trying to load. And then you can also customize this a little bit too. So this is what's mainly going to show you. So let's go ahead and hit edit on that and you can see a little more about what it's doing. So it's going to test out a lot of the system components and you can come in here and you can kind of customize this the way you want it. But uh, I usually leave it default because all I really care, what, what I mainly care about is if a link goes down or, or the firewall just fails or, or dies or whatever. All right, so I'm going to go here and sign in and then go sign in my Gmail. And then there, there's one thing that I will be, uh, I will warn you about is the fact that uh, on the personal Gmail stuff, um, uh, they turned off the less secure apps already on the personal stuff. I, I was able to do the, the less secure stuff on my side or on, on the business side. Um, some, uh, for, for some reason with the security settings in the background, it will stop your emails from sending uh, if it's not using less secure in some cases. So uh, I would have an email, basically I have an email with a super long, awesome password. And then I, that's the way we keep that, that better off. But anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same password here because this email is gonna get nuked afterwards anyway. Okay doesn't like that. So we're just going to go ahead and do one of the, uh, just a random password.
<laughs> it's going to play games because it wants a more complex password. So we're just going to change a single character in this. All right, so that's changed, and I'm just going to go change that single character in here so it matches up. I'm going to restart the service. That, that uh, restart should trigger it, but we'll see if it does or not. Set refresh. Okay, it may not trigger that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go stop the service and then that should trigger an alert. If that doesn't trigger the alert, then I'll go ahead and just kill the firewall. Okay. So I think I know what the issue is. I'm going to go actually manage the account. Yeah, but it says suspicious activity, but it's fine. All right, here we go. So yeah, that's off. So let's go turn it back on, or go turn it on. All right, so we're gonna turn that on and then that's saved. Cool, now let's go stop this again and then start it. All right, there we go. So now you see that it failed. So, and then that's not the actual firewall failing, that's actually just the monitor service failing. So yeah, you do have to have that less secure piece turned on on Google if you're using Google. Um, but anyway guys, yeah, that's it. That's the basics of this. So whenever now, whenever uh, a firewall fails or, or if a service fails or if a link goes down, then you should automatically get an email login or an email login, email notification. But anyway guys, thank you for watching this. Uh, if you liked it, please uh, like it, share it, comment on below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And uh, hit me up if you need me. Thank you.